Now, this is just funny. And there's more jello. The jello is following me even into the architectural salvage yard. I guess I'm destined to eat jello. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl, and today we are going in Eco Relics, and I'm doing a shop with me. We're going to see what kind of cool advertising they have. Eco Relics bought a massive advertising collection from a local couple. They were antique dealers, and they had tons of advertising, and the store owner tells me that every single room in their house was set up like an old general store, and each room had a theme, and they are still bringing in crates and crates of advertising it is amazing so I can't wait to show you what's inside this architectural salvage yard they have so many cool things and if you're in the Jacksonville area definitely go check out eco relics let's go okay guys Wow look at this this is the first display that I see when I walked in eco relics and I am already mesmerized I want all of these tens they are so incredibly awesome. This advertising is amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this white border ribbon tent. I do not have this one, and for six dollars, yeah, that's coming home with me. That's amazing. Oh, look at these. These are erasers. Little boxes of erasers for 15 cents. When do you see erasers for 10 cents? You don't now, but back then you did. And look at this Parker erasers. What a cool little box. All the advertising, I think, is priced very reasonably. 10, 6, 4. I just think that's an amazing price for old advertising that's in really good shape. This is a Sanford's Indelible Ink bottle, and I have the Sanford's indelible ink 10 that would have come with the ink but i don't have the ink uh, now i think my 10 is for a round sanford bottle and this one is square but look at this little ink well with the ink in it for sanford's amazing and for four dollars that's totally a great price and look at the soldering paste wowza the graphics on that are amazing I love all kinds of tens, but I particularly like the hardware and shop tens. And look, they even have Dart Family nails. Ooh, I might have to get that. I love nail tens. Look at this, and Denison, Denison gum labels. Look at the box of Denison labels. Oh my gosh, is this not amazing? Look at the graphics on that, gummed patches. How cool would this be in an assemblage for $3? Yeah, I think that's a no-brainer. That is a great price. And look at this South 10. Ooh, this is amazing, you guys. Watkins South. How cool is that? Tens are just not made like they used to be made. And the graphics are just so much better. I mean, our graphics now just pale in comparison to this. And this is in very good shape for being as old as it is. And it's $8. That is a totally reasonable price. Oh, look at this black and white hairdressing. Okay, the graphics on this are just stunning. That is an incredible tin. And at $20, it's priced probably where it should be. I've never seen this one, so I don't know uh, its rarity, but that is a very, very neat tent. Still reasonable at, at $20 for a really neat advertising piece. And look at this. Dolly Does It Golden Sponge. $10. It's a metal dishcloth. How cool is that? There's Dolly Does It, and then there is Danny Does It. Look at the graphics on that. This is so 1950s. It's a pot cleaner. How cool is that? Now that's amazing. And then they've got some really cool graphics on this. This is 
mend it. Let's see, mends all leaks instantly. Oh, it's for metal pots that have a hole. You can fix it. Don't throw it away, mend it with mend it. Oh wow, the graphics on that are incredible. Yeah, that's an amazing piece of advertising. That is very cool. Look at all the tins they have here. Dutch Boy linseed oil. And they have Moth Killer and Matador. Look at the graphics on this. Wow, I really like that. Pratt. B brand. Household Wax. I mean, they have worked so hard to recreate the general store look. And this is absolutely amazing. So I think that uh, I'm definitely going to, oh my word, I just hit the jackpot. Guys, look at this. Hassle drive screws. Whoa, that is totally my jam. And this is staple box for 10 cents. At $10 a piece, that is a great bargain for a 10 like this. And this one is 5 yeah, that's a no-brainer. Oh, wow. And look at this. Contact points. Wizard Heavy Duty. Oh, I love anything with like a lightning bolt graphic on it. Oh, that is cool. And it's in a red pen. Oh, $5. Yeah, that's going to come home. I don't know what this is for. Um, oh, tungsten. Okay, so battery related, I think. That is awesome. And they have a whole bunch of these French's song food. This makes your canary sing. <laughs> How cool is that? Give once a week to a bird in song. It helps keep your pet in vigorous health. How awesome is that? I think Misty had one of these a while ago and I couldn't win it. But that is a cool tale. I might have to get that and put that with my record player. And look at this scissor sharpener for a dollar. How cool is the graphics on that? Yeah, I'm going to add that to my pile. And oh, look at this Clarkson Phono Needle Gauge. I'm just hitting the jackpot, y'all. I'm just hitting the jackpot on advertising. Today, this is my day. Oh, look at this Kent Theater gift coupons for $3. This would be great for junk journaling, although I would hate to tear something like this up. But look at this, Kent Theater tickets, their gift coupons, and the whole packet is only $5. And I love the graphics on this. Anvil brand is the best year-round workwear for me. How cool is this? This is $2. And it's a little notepad. So you could totally do a whole lot of ephemera and do junk journaling and these are wholesale grocers tags from Pulaski Tennessee and what is this southern oil stores genuine coupons and an ice coupon book from Kroger from Kroger wow man the graphics on this are incredible just amazing and again five dollars is so reasonable for these old pieces. Premium plant food and soil builder. Great piece right here. Amazing, amazing advertising. I just think these are so cool. That is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. Can you just believe this? I mean, this is like my lucky day. It's like I have hit the jackpot in advertising. And this is just only part of what they have. The store continues on. And look at some of these displays over here. Look at this Goodwill soap. Man, to have some of these boxes in your house would be incredible. Oh, look, this is a nasal douche. And Nate from New Zealand gave one of these away on his subscriber giveaway. So Nate, this is for you. I found one in the original box. And if you're not subscribed to Soul Nate, go check out Nate's channel. He's got some really cool things. And look at the graphics on this. Nose and throat atomizer. 
I love that graphic. And then there's a beautiful cigarette case here. I would love to have a collection of cigarette cases. I think they're so neat. Always carry Tums. Oh, look at the Casco Blue back here. That is amazing. 25 cent Casco Blue. Wowza. That's amazing. Look at the horses on that. That is a really neat tent. And again, $10 for an advertising tent with really cool graphics is pretty reasonable. Look at the cough drops, Vicks cough drops, and Carolina Club. They have tons of old jars and bottles. French's blue food color. Look at that little tin. How cool would these be in a little tiny collection? And at $3, that's a very attractive price. Look at this Walgreens Drug Company. That must be old. That's got the older Walgreens logo. This is $5. Lots of Listerine bottles. And oh, I love these hairpins. Look at these bobby pins. $2 for this part of bobby pins. Oh, how awesome is that? I love that. And look at the more of the soldering paste. And really cool jars. I think this is Vaseline gold petroleum jelly <laughs> and look at all these tiny little rolling pins and cool ephemera i mean this place is incredible just incredible oh i have this nail tin it's a it's a box it's cobbler nails and the graphics on it are just stunning and for a dollar I mean, you can't beat that it's missing its nails but i mean how good does that look in the display Oh, and there's some jello, folks. <laughs> I should get this jello and try it on my channel, huh? What do you think? I'll make some 1950s jello and eat it. <laughs> no, this is a cool jello box. Tapioca pudding, chocolate flavor for $10. Now, this is just funny. And there's more jello. The jello is following me even into the architectural salvage yard. I guess I'm destined to eat jello. Oh, that's fun. Jello and more jello. Yep, I think uh, jello is kind of fun. Oh, man. Can you believe people ate that stuff back in the day? I don't know. It's not for me. <laughs> Look at the nutmeg tent. This is cool. This is set up like a kitchen, a grocery store. You've got the Tom's roasted peanuts. I mean, if you had a, a place for this, I mean, $225 for a store display is really, really an attractive price and a great piece for this old advertising. Uh, to find this, it's just really awesome. Tom's roasted peanuts. I love that. Okay, let's see what else we can find. I'm making a little pile over here of things that might have to come home with me. <laughs> Look at this. White cereal. Wheat cereal. That is a cool tin. Wow. And that's a nice large size tin too. Let's see what this is. This is Canadian Mist. Oh, it's a, it's a cigarette uh, vending machine. Wow, that is pretty cool. And this is Better Pack. It's like a packaging machine. Wow, look at that. Just really, really cool. Let's see what else they have here. This is neat. This is set up at the children's store for, you know, different games and school supplies. Look at this really awesome harmonica with the airplane. Any old advertising with airplanes are always really collectible. Just amazing pieces. And then you've got school service crayons. Look how Art Deco that is. That is just a very cool box. And let's see what else is here. Ooh, rapid paintbrush cleaner. I have this. I believe this tin is from the 1940s. And at $15, that is a totally reasonable price. I think I paid more for mine. And look at this Elk brand dice. Now, I have seen people take these 
and put them in an old gumball machine and they look awesome. So I love this Oakland dice and $15 is about the going price for that. So that is really reasonable. And look how cute this is. Busy Boy Tool Chest with safe vinyl tools. <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. How cool. And for $10, I mean, you can't beat the graphics on that. Oh, and here's Mickey. Can't go wrong without uh, Mickey. Can't go wrong with him. Mickey Mouse Paint Box for $26. How incredible. Look at all this advertising. Wowzers. This is amazing. Look at that old bread box. That would be great in the kitchen. And they have tons of tobacco. Camel Brand. Piedmont's Virginia Cigarettes. That's got to be something you don't see every day. And look at all of these cleansers. Royal Lemon. Calmet. How cool are the graphics on these tins? Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. Biscuit crate. Wow. This is just so cool. I love the graphics on the B brand tin. And look at this. These are cool. These are really awesome advertising pieces. These would have had products inside. They would have hung in a store and then they dispense at the bottom. So this is for wintergreen flavored chewing tobacco. And at $65, that is such a great price for this piece. I've seen some of these online. And I was looking at one a while ago for Morton Salt. And unfortunately, I lost out on it. But this is a great, great piece. Look at the graphics on these old things. Just incredible. And here's a whole bunch of small tins. This one's Maybelline and little Revlon. That's probably rouge or powder for a dollar. Man, you can't beat that. Okay, hair dressing. How cool is the graphics on that tin? And again, I think for $10, these advertising pieces are so reasonably priced. Look at this Whitman's Airbond Mints and the Lucky Charm hair dressing. Don't you just love the graphics on this stuff? I tell you, our, our graphics really pale in comparison to what they had back in the day. Airbonds, Whitman Airbonds. That's a cool tin. Really cool graphics. Let's see what this is. This is hair dressing. Oh, I love this. Look at that guy. This one must be particularly rare because it's priced at $65. So I'm assuming this is something that you don't see every day. Uh, some of these uh, hair dressing tins or talcum tins that have unique graphics that are harder and harder to find can be worth a little bit more. Still a fantastic piece. Look at the graphics on her. You know, she's $45. And again, you know, some of these pieces are in such good shape. They really are worth it. And if you don't find these tins every day, they're not as common. They can be worth a little bit more. Look at this dog tin scratch powder. That is fantastic really cool advertising pieces here and look at all these French song foods I think Misty had one of these and I tried to get it but I lost out this is amazing how cool look at the music notes on this sweet oh I love that graphic and five dollars I mean wow you just cannot go wrong can't go wrong with something like this. Just amazing. There's several other birds here. Let's see. Best for pets. Egg and nestling food. Wow. This is just an incredible place. And I adore this. This is, let's see, Drink Dixie. Now that is a really cool bottle. Oh, it's a local piece. It's Jacksonville. Now that is neat. 
Yeah, and it's priced at 25. It's a local piece, so it definitely can command a little bit more. And I'm sure that's a bottle you don't see every day. Ooh, more of those Coca-Cola soda jerk hats. These are fun. These are great pieces to pick up when you see them. Because you just don't see this kind of thing every day. Really, really neat piece. Look at this here. Look at all these tents. Face powders, cosmetics, and all these little signs. Look at that telephone sign. Wow. Marietta bread. Schaefer's sweet sausages. Just very cool pieces. One of the coolest things they have as part of this advertising display at Eco Relics right now is this RCA Victor sign. It's priced where it should be at $1,000. and It is absolutely incredible. It's a lighted sign and look at Nipper. That is just incredible. So cool. <laughs> I would love to have something like this. This is just amazing. Just amazing. And then they have a whole display of vintage pharmacy. And look at this prescription sign. How cool is that? And they have all kinds of old bottles. And I love these little blue bottles. I think they're so neat. And they have all different kinds of medicine and advertising here. Look at the milk of magnesia with the paper label. I mean, how cool are these blue bottles and one of the other things that I love here is this Lemmy sign this is a uh, Lemmy have a Lemmy lemonade how cool is that and it's priced at 75 which is a great price for that 10 I always think of Patrick when I see these salt plays vintage Crocs. He loves them. Trusty Huckster Mercantile. He has a great collection on top of his piano. And these are just fabulous. And then of course Carrie and Kim with the uh, McCoy Owl Canisters. Lots of great things here at Eco Relics. This is their little shoe display. And I got the ABC shoe polish last time I was here. But look at this. Just incredible all kinds of foot powders and shoe polishes and they even have a bunch of these uh, shoe store molds shoe lasts that kind of thing and then a really neat display here i think this is so cool now imagine shoes being a dollar 98 <laughs> that's not the case now but that is a cool piece and they've also got some beautiful advertising for Atlas Shoe Polish, which is something I also picked up last time I was here. That is a neat container. Oh, wow. If I had the room for something like this, would that not just be amazing? Classic shoes. I mean, these are things you probably don't see every day. And again, they had, this couple had a huge collection of Tabakiana. And look at the Camel brand advertising. How awesome is that? Who remembers Joe Camel? <laughs> I just, man, this stuff is cool. Here's a camel. Really unusual piece. Definitely worth every penny. And how amazing would this be to have in your house? Look at any article, 10 cents. Wowzers. Palm olive shave cream. Cami, Octagon, ooh, look at this, Magic Aftershave Cream, $12, again, that is a great price, and then look at this, my uh, great-grandfather had a tin or a jar like this, and I have it now in my bathroom, Burma Shave, $8, it's got the cool embossing on the bottom, that is great. And this is neat. I have not seen a, a sign like this before. I like the angles on the side. This is Savannah Ice Health Guard Service. That is just really a cool piece. And they've just got tons of advertising. And look at this. Have you ever seen anything like this? 
This is a sedan chair from France. 18th century sedan chair. Holy cow. Is that not incredible? Look at the graphics on that. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Wow, I mean, unique, unique and unusual or definitely something that you find from the Eco Relics. They have the most incredible pieces. That is really neat. And look at this Black Hawk hand tool sign. Oh man, if I had the room for this. This is just absolutely amazing. I love all kinds of hardware advertising displays. So this is so amazing. Wowzers. And this place keeps going, so we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back to see more cool advertising. Oh man, look at the storage and moving container. Wow. And bottles galore. I mean, just heaven. Boy, oh boy, did I just hit the jackpot on scotch tape tents. Have you ever seen so many in one place? I don't think I have. This is incredible. Look at this. Oh, and that folding skeleton key. Folding skeleton keys are very cool. And I read that they would use the folding skeleton keys because when you fold them up, they'd be in your pocket and it wouldn't feel like a key. So it was sort of like a hidden thing. And I'll have to do a little bit more research on them. But those are cool. I don't see them that often. And look at all of these laxative tins. Misty, I bet you are loving this. Oh my word. Look at these. Just amazing. Absolutely incredible. Can I just move into this cabinet and live here? I would be very happy among all these advertising tents. This is just so my jam. And look at this typewriter ribbon tent. Oh, what a great piece. What a great piece. So much eye candy. Oh, I love these little handy roll tents. These, I believe, are from the 1940s. And they're just really neat pieces. I just love this. So much. Look at this. Have you ever seen scotch like this? Scotch rubber adhesive. I've never seen that. Now that is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I don't collect a lot of spice tins, but I really think the graphics on these are kind of neat. I really like this McCormick paprika tin. I think that is so cool. And you could do these for different holidays. I think it would be fun to get a pumpkin spice tin for uh, Thanksgiving time. Look at the allspice. I mean, they just don't make these things anymore. I love the lines on that tin. I think that is incredibly cool. There's just so many tins here. You can never see it all in one visit. There's just so much to see. And look at this White King soap. It takes so little, and the jello. Oh man, tell you, jello's following me everywhere. <laughs> Look at these jello molds for a dollar. I might have to pick these up and have some fun with these on the, one of my jello shows. That is really fun. And look at this box for Velveeta. Oh man, my grandmother used to put Velveeta in a lot of things. That is a really cool box. So this couple apparently also collected lard tins and coffee tins, and they have a great display here. So many cool graphics, and I love the Maxwell House tins because Maxwell is a local coffee place here. It's got a lot of neat local interest. We have a Maxwell plant that's been around forever. And you can always smell the coffee sometime when you're downtown. You can roll down your windows and get a heavenly smell of Maxwell coffee from the plant. But look at the graphics on these. I just love this Manhattan coffee and acorns and Nescaf. I mean, the graphics on these old tins are just to die for. And they are really a cool instant collection. If you wanted to start a cool collection of advertising tins for your kitchen, 
you could have a whole bunch of these coffee tins stacked up and they would be so neat. And here's a couple of these coffee banks. I believe Miss Pam just had one in one of her live sales. They're really neat when you find them with the lid because they don't often have the lid. And did you know that Del Monte made coffee? I sure didn't. That's a really interesting tin. It's priced at, I believe, $80. And that's probably a great price for that because I have never seen that and I'm sure it's a little bit harder to find. And look at this Tootsie Roll advertising display. Back when Tootsie Rolls were five cents. Oh, so good. Take me some home for the kitties. For your sweetheart, good to eat. Pure, clean, and wholesome. How cool is that rack? Wow, I mean, look at all of this. That is some cool graphics right there. Just incredible stuff here. I guess I'm going to have to move into Eco Relics and just live here forever and be among the tins.